Hi everyone, I'm Ramsey Jones. Oh. <clears throat> For breakfast, I'm going to Zinc Cafe. It's a very popular Californian cafe that has a lot of vegetarian options. I am taking my breakfast to the beach, where you see the hotter than Laguna Beach housewife like button. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars like so many times before. Okay, well, it's another beautiful day in Laguna Beach and I'm surrounded by birds again. I don't know if I'd rather have wasps bugging me or birds bugging me. I think I'd rather take the, uh, the birds because I think they're less likely to attack me. Although they did that one time. Wasps, they're, they're sting for no reason. The birds are just after the food. But you, can you blame the birds? Anyways, this is the, another avocado toast I got here. It's got some pickled vegetables on it and some tomato, the crushed avocado on top. And then I also got a medium poached egg on top of that. I looks like I'm gonna have to take a really big bite to get my mouth around this. You know, I mainly got the uh, toast and the pickled vegetables in that bite. I can't get, oh, it's almost, it's hard to eat. I wanna dock at points because it's kinda hard to eat. Uh, all right, let's try to get a really big bite here. This might be a little messy. <laughs> it's just so refreshing. The pickled vegetables add some freshness to this avocado toast. This egg is done perfectly, and the uh, toast is nice and crunchy as well. This is super messy. I don't even want to eat the rest of it. Yeah, if you have a knife and fork, this is a really good avocado toast. I would give it a Jones score of uh, 15 out of 20. So I thought I'd try out something sweet as well. This is a marzipan muffin and it's pretty tiny. So let's try her out. It's made out of almond paste. Yeah, I don't really like it. Kind of dry. It does taste like almond, but it's a very dry, tiny muffin. I don't know why they're selling them, to be honest. I don't know if these birds would even like them. We could feed them to the birds. I think you can get in trouble for feeding food to the birds, right? I don't know. But if they're not willing to eat it, then you know it's gonna be bad. It's not worth the calories. Yeah, it's just a very dry, tiny muffin. I give it a Jones score of five out of 20. For lunch, I'm going to Orange Inn. Here they serve oranges and other food. I am taking my lunch to somewhere where I'm too lazy to subscribe button. And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night for the last time Stay, stay No, you're gone in the morning, but I'll be okay Okay, so I know this is a pretty basic looking lunch here, but I really wanted to go to this empanada place, but it was closed. These empanadas had macaroni and cheese inside of them. I'm almost kind of glad it was closed because I didn't really want that. I wanted something a bit more, you know, kind of normal, not so heavy either. I guess the only thing that's in here is the bacon and the white bread that's kind of heavy. And then it has guacamole as well and lettuce and tomato. So it looks pretty awesome. It looks like a very high quality turkey club sandwich. Okay, I'm gonna to have to open my mouth wide for this one too. Mm. Yeah, this is just a refreshing sandwich. Doesn't feel heavy at all. The guacamole does that. I think guacamole makes everything feel light. Um, even though it's full of fat, but it's good fat, right? They give you a ton of bacon and it's nice and crispy. And the uh, turkey is very juicy and it's real turkey meat. It's not that fake deli stuff. I just about said shit. <laughs> just did say shit. This is a pretty awesome turkey club sandwich. One of the better ones I've had. Yeah, last time I was here, they were saying some big event over there and it looked like a lot of very important people were gonna attend it. Later we found out it was all the CEOs of all the big tech companies like Google and Snapchat and Facebook and 
I don't know about Facebook, but we, I know the CEO of Google was there. And Dan and I, we just went in there and had a coffee. Well, I had a coffee. I think Dan had some nuts. I probably ate some nuts too. Can't, can't resist some salty nuts. <laughs> yeah, the security was very minimal. You would have never thought there was a bunch of CEOs there. Me and Dan weren't really dressed appropriately either. I was wearing a G-string and he was wearing a bikini. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to rate this sandwich a, mm, you know, it's a 16 and a half out of 20. No, 17. It's a damn good sandwich. So I had to get something orange from the orange inn. And this is the orange cranberry muffin. I'm kind of addicted to pastries now too. So I'm kind of glad that empanada place was closed because I really wanted another pastry. All right, I want to go for the top of the muffin. Mmm. Did you hear that? It's nice and crunchy. I love a crunchy top. And it's got a nice orange flavor there. The cranberries give it some tartiness. It'll probably give you a muffin top if you eat enough of them. Tartiness. It's kind of a weird word. It's the same word for being late for something. This place is known for their smoothies, but I drank most of this one. I couldn't really film it properly. But this was their classic one. It had a bunch of strawberries and... Uh, what does it have in it? I took a picture. I don't know. Maybe I, I won't bother putting this in. I don't think it's that good of content. For dinner, I'm going to Las Brisas. Here they have world-class hospitality. Oh, I'm not sure about that. And a chef-curated menu. I'm not really sure what that means. But you can enjoy panoramic views of Laguna's Beach coastline from their dining rooms and their outdoor patio. I will be enjoying my dinner right beside the restaurant where you see the gold digging like button. Alright, the sun is just going down. I got these in the nick of time. I'm super excited for these pork ribs. They look amazing. Ooh, I like the flavor in that barbecue sauce. And I like how the outside coating is kind of crunchy. Let's have some more. I gotta really dig into this to determine how good it is. Yeah, these uh, pork ribs are nice and meaty as well. They could be a little more tender though. They're not like fall off the bone tender, but they're still pretty amazing. I'm loving this barbecue sauce. It's quite spicy and it's sweet. So these ribs are pretty awesome. They're super meaty. They're full of flavor. I like the crunchy outside. I like the barbecue sauce. It's really spicy and it's really sweet. Uh, the one thing I wish, I wish they were a bit more moist because you know me, I like things moist. Except I don't like that word. No, I don't mind the word. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna give this a Jones score of, mm, I think I'm gonna give them a 16 out of 20. That was a tough one. Okay, let's try the halibut. This halibut is in a tomato broth with capers, olives, and rice. It's a halibut for I, I can't say it. <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking the, uh, <laughs> just slide in and out. So I was thinking the halibut was a little dry looking and then thought that they just gave me the salsa with the chips, but it was actually the tomato sauce and it was warm. So I put it over top of the halibut. This halibut's just falling apart. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, the uh, halibut is moist, it's not dry, it's not overcooked. This tomato sauce is quite nice. I'm always kind of worried about getting fish, but it's, a lot of times it's not that good. So I'm going to give this, I, I'm not like loving it, loving it, but I am enjoying it. I'm just eating a lot of it because I want my protein because I worked out very hard today. Uh, I'm going to give this a Jones score of 16 out of 20. Like. And if you enjoyed this food review, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, blah, blah, blah.
But all the fun times we had, I'll never forget. We will always share a bond. So I found out the other day I have really big ear canals. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I bought those Apple iPods the other day and I, I tried the medium size and they kept falling out of my ears. So then for some reason I tried the small size. Oh man, the birds. And uh, I know that doesn't make any sense, but I don't think I I didn't think I had really big ear canals. So the small ones kept falling out of my ears too. So then I tried the large and they seem to work out just perfectly. But you know what they say about really big ear canals, right? You can hear really well. <laughs> It'd be funny, you hear a couple of girls go, did you see the size of that guy's ear canals? <laughs> I blame Graham Stephan for all that. He's the one that made, have people making those stupid faces on their thumbnails. Like all over YouTube, you have people going, so dumb. These ribs are a little dry. I'm gonna make a shocked face with how dry they are. <laughs> well, I wanna put that on the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh man, sometimes I wonder why I do these food reviews. I don't have to. I just like traveling and eating. I actually just got bored. Thought it'd be kind of start something kind of fun to do. I think I'm learning a lot from them. I'm definitely getting fatter though. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, it's definitely not a good thing to get fatter. Is it better if I dig all this close when I eat? Do I have sauce on the side here? Oh man. Did I have sauce that whole time? God, I hope not. <laughs>